good evening. I got a couple questions tonight I wanted to ask. Like, first off, what's up with these stupid questions on job applications? Like, in case of emergency, you should be notified. Me! <laughs> Take this little, you know, the tape they put you in the back and you're working at Burger King and you gotta see all the information they want you to know. Like, in case of an emergency, we want you to do this. If someone pulls a gun out on you to rob you, you take your left hand and pretend like you're grabbing a bag to put the money in. Hitting beside the alarm while grabbing the bag, putting the money out of the register from your right hand into the bag and hand it to the assailant without looking at their face. And the police will be there in 60 seconds. Correct them, shit, this is the hood. I'm on the south side. So, I'm working at Burger King, got a little jobby situation going on, you know, and someone actually comes in, and I hear that sound, it's too familiar in my side of town. Click, click, give me the money. So I use my left hand to push my coworker the fuck out the way. I'm using my right foot to run, I use my right hand to knock my other coworker onto the floor, I use my left hand to knock her back to jump through the window. And within 60 seconds, I was about five blocks away. <laughs> All right. Now, also, more than I ran into while I was working there, folks coming in and asking me stuff like, hey, bro, you work here? You work here, bro? I'm like, nah, I don't work here. I just put on this costume because it makes it easier to get back and get the food for free. Right. I got a Burger King, a Wendy's, a McDonald's, hanging jersey, I got everything, dog. You know how I do. Also, I don't understand what's up with people nowadays named drugs. I don't understand people still experiment with crack. They're like, crack still get you hot? Yeah, crack. Man, I want to start some new shit. They got this thing out here called water, made with a bottle fluid, got people tripping, stripping, but they can run in the streets. I see people outside now, they're like, crack, I'm like, listen, play, I got that Kool-Aid for you. I did a cigarette and some paint. <laughs> got that Kool-Aid for you. Smoke that one for yourself. <laughs> See what happened. I got all types of Kool-Aid too. See, black people like Kool-Aid. So when white people come by, I did put in some pine sauce. I got that lemonade. <laughs> lemonade. All right. Asian people come by, dip it in some dirty water, and say, I got tea, tea. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I know for the first joke, y'all thinking I'm a punk or whatever, but I don't care about that. Because to me, a punk stands for a person who understands not getting killed. And I'm ready to run. Okay? I don't care what the problem is. I learned when I was younger. My father told me. I left the house in the morning. I'm like eight years old. I see the little six year old kid up the block. I'm like, I'm about to start some shit. Put that cop. Then watch Kung Fu. That little boy licked me like I was a dog. I go home and tell my father what happened. He's like, that's what your ass is going to be in So ever since then, I know bravery is not first. No, I got to go. Save your life. You don't want to end up like Papa and Tyrone. I'm walking down Sliding Street one day. You know how to, hey, 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 put us in the back, shut your ass up so people can laugh. Shut your ass up. Right? Don't you say nothing. See? You, don't, don't start talking. I will get you. That's what I was born to do. Take him down. <laughs> Listen, so I'm walking down Sliding Street one day. Talk to the shell. You know, she got a little booty on. I'm talking to him. He's going down the street. All of a sudden, black guy come running through the Come running. Everybody else starts running. So I run. I know y'all thinking, oh, you look left No, I look back. She right behind me. Baby, I'm right with you. We gotta go. We gotta go. Everybody ran except for Paco, Tyrone, and the white guy who happened to be jogging past. And I said, shut your ass up so people can laugh. People in the back, I'm not, listen, people in the back, I'm not gonna leave it alone. Y'all be talking to y'all came here, and I'm gonna say something. Shut your ass up so people can laugh. <laughs> Alright? So everybody. Run except for Paco, Tyrone, and the white guy who happens to be riding and running right past his jaw. Tyrone Paco, he hot. He spit that coke up. So he runs, he got his knife on the car. I'm gonna stab somebody. I'm gonna stab somebody. I'm running, I'm running. Tyrone, he too brave. I just came home from jail, got my chest out. I'm gonna run. What up? The white guy who happens to be running past, he's curious. He's like, what's going on? Why is everybody running? So he walks up to Paco with his back turned. Paco stabs him up. See the guy bleeding, then Paco runs. Tyrone's still there with his chest out when the police come around the corner looking for the original person. See Tyrone standing inside a dead body. And you see what bravery got Tyrone ass? 25 life and the worst ass whooping of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's my time. I swear to God. Don't clap this yet. Don't clap this yet. Because I wish I had more time for you people in the back. I wish I did. But I can get on stage. I'll be <laughs> 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 <laughs>